The Komodo dragon is the largest lizard living on Earth today. Although it might look like a mini version of the fictional dragons you see in movies, this living fossil doesn't fly or breathe fire. It does, however, have some scary traits. In this video, you will see interesting facts about Komodo dragons. Let's get started. Komodo dragons are in fact, lizards, and they are by far the largest lizards on Earth. These lizards can grow up to 3 meters long, approximately the length of a small car. They're heavy, too, they can weigh up to 154 pounds on average, but have been weighed up to 135 kilograms, which is approximately the same weight as a panda bear. Komodo dragons are only present on five Indonesian islands, and in no other country in the world. Four of these islands make up what is known as Komodo National Park, and the fifth island is that of Flores. The main island that is home to the largest amount of Komodo dragons in the world is named after these lizards, it is so named Komodo Island. They are powerful-looking reptiles with wide, flat heads, rounded snouts, bowed legs, and huge, muscular tails. They have a clumsy, back-and-forth walk, and their yellow tongues flick in and out constantly. Their tails are as long as their bodies. Komodo dragons can reach the length of a small car, and their tail plays a large role in this length. Not only is their tail as long as the rest of their body, but their tails are strong enough to take down a deer. Komodo dragons will swing their tail back and forth as a scare tactic, but will also do this when they are scared themselves. Komodo dragons are carnivores. These giant lizards are ruthless carnivores. Being such aggressive meat-eaters, they will eat any meat, from large deer to even humans and water buffalo. They certainly have the strength and venom to do so. Komodo dragons are known for their notorious, venomous hunting strikes. It used to be believed that these lizards had various strains of bacteria in their saliva that killed prey, but this theory was discredited by the University of Queensland and it is now believed that they secrete venom proteins similar to that of venomous snakes. Animals that escape the jaws of a Komodo will only feel lucky briefly. Dragons can calmly follow an escapee for miles as the venom takes effect, using their keen sense of smell to home in on the corpse. The appetite of a Komodo dragon matches its size. These lizards are capable of eating as much as 80% of their own body weight at once. How? Big meals and slow digestion prompt Komodo dragons to lounge in the sun after eating. The heat helps keep their digestion process working. After they digest, they will regurgitate what is known as a gastric pellet. Similar to all pellets, a gastric pellet contains horns, hair, teeth, and other bits of prey that can't be digested. They have shark-like teeth. Komodo dragons have 60 teeth, the highest number a reptile can have. Their not-so-pearly whites are regularly compared to that of a shark's because they're so razor-sharp and have the unique serrated morphology that helps them cut through flesh. These teeth also play a key role in the lizard's ability to poison their prey. Now, if you've ever seen a Komodo dragon with its big, scary mouth agape, you might wonder, where exactly are these notorious teeth? Their gums are, in fact, so thick that they create a toothless facade. Don't be fooled a Komodo dragon could take down almost any animal with just one bite. Komodo dragons can survive on as little as one meal a month. They sometimes eat their own young. Sometimes, usually when food is scarce, Komodo dragons will feed on hatchlings of their own species. It's for this reason that young Komodo dragons spend ample time up in trees. They have the claws for it, but over time, they become too heavy for climbing. Komodo dragons can swim. As if these reptiles weren't well enough adapted with their large bodies, strong tails and venom, they can also swim. Komodos have been spotted as far as miles off the shore of the five islands they reside on, just swimming along like Dory. They can swim between the five islands with ease. As if this were not enough, Komodo dragons can also run as fast as 12 kilometers per hour. They have an excellent sense of smell. As with most reptiles, the Komodo dragons use their forked tongues instead of noses to smell. They can detect a rotting prey from 6 kilometers away. Their sense of hearing and sight, however, are less than impressive. Though these athletic reptiles can walk up to 7 miles per day, they prefer to stay close to home, rarely venturing far from the valleys in which they hatched. 
Once a year, when they're ready to mate, female Komodo dragons give off a scent in their feces for males to follow. When a male dragon locates a female, he scratches her back and licks her body. If she licks him back, they mate. Males also sometimes wrestle one another to earn mating rights. Pregnant females then lay about 30 eggs, which they bury in the earth until they hatch 8 months later. Babies are greenish with yellow and black bands but become solid gray to reddish brown as they age. Young dragons will stay in the trees until they are about 8 months old to avoid predators, which include larger dragons. When there aren't any males around, female Komodo dragons have other means of reproducing, as they have both male and female sex chromosomes, female dragons can reproduce asexually in a process called parthenogenesis. While asexual reproduction does allow female Komodo dragons to replenish their population and evolutionary advantage it has a significant drawback, this reproduction process only results in sons. The dearth of other females within a population has led to evidence of inbreeding. The reptile's reluctance to stray far from home exacerbates the issue as the species population declines and fragments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already.